Well, it seems that Netmarble once again are making solo leveling a rise. I don't want to say great again because the game's already good. Um, but they're making the improvements, they're listening to the player base and so what I mean by that and the reason why I'm on this screen in particular is because one of the most annoying things which I'm sure we can all agree on um, is the fact that why is it costing gold to like take off artifacts? Now thankfully they have reduced the amount because before it would cost us like 100k, 200k, like a ridiculous amount of gold. They reduced it, the one thing which I mentioned I was like look even though they haven't taken it away completely it's a step in the right direction eventually we'll get there we got there so there was a bit of a developer notice out and this is mainly and again this is this is communication this is vital and key for a developer to keep us the players informed on what's going on and this is why right now solo leveling arise i feel like is doing really really well because well it's it's an absolute hit netmarble have seen this and now they're doing their absolute best to keep you know the game on top and keeping that communication line open between them and us the players so pretty much um with what they're saying right now is uh i mean clearly they're hearing our voices in terms of the issues that we're having um apparently there was an issue with min's ultimate skill heavenly blessing to where uh, while in the this guy's status the crit damage effect wasn't being applied to juru so that is going to be obviously fixed up so again issues that they're looking into fixing and pushing out updates uh, as soon as possible because I'm pretty sure this is a, this has already been fixed correct me if I'm wrong um, obviously they're also now talking about feedback so obviously getting the response from us and uh, giving a, a quick response back so if there's any issues or problems on our end we'll get a quick response back so again this is them acknowledging all of that which is fantastic that's exactly what you want to hear um this is where things do get really really freaking good so this is more for the game itself with how it's been improved after hearing our issues and numerous feet and this is why i always say in certain videos beforehand on the form page there's a feedback section use it because they do listen to us and if a lot of us go out our way to just kind of tell them about a certain issue or certain problem it will get looked into and then long behold we do get a response from it so pretty much um the next update is on the 19th as i've already told you guys because on the 19th that is when the new update happens because every new update is every three weeks if you guys didn't know every big update so on the 19th is when the big update is going to be happening so malin fisher will release the new character uh, along with other stuff of course so that's kind of when they've got that scheduled but basically um, to make it easier for hunters to utilize the gate rescan, we plan to change the rescan cost from essence stones to small amount of gold. Now, I will take that. I mean, the thing about gates is that they're very, they are vital, and obviously, most to everyone, um, do suggest to use all of your keys. But the annoying thing is, and I'll admit this, is that when we rescan, I mean, obviously, the first rescan is free right now at times you can get uh certain gates that you don't want right you might be after a specific gate who knows but when you rescan it again it's costing you 30 essence which it's it's, a, it's i don't think that's a reasonable cost you know but the fact that they're going to change that to a small amount of gold and i'm hoping it's like 100 gold at most i'll say a thousand but keep it to 100 please um that is a big big change and a huge huge improvement for us to actually use our keys and get on with this piece of content which gives us vital uh resources so yeah that's a that's a positive change um we've noticed that many hunters don't use all their key, uh, gate keys which are essential for obtaining items for growth uh, we believe part of it is caused by not being able to find the gate of desired rank to address this we would like to change the gates rescan cost to a small amount of gold making it easier for hunters to find gates of the desired rank without burden beautiful perfect you love to see that um, we're also preparing an increase the amount of free special suite provided in daily growth support as the next oh okay wait what we're also preparing to increase the amount of free special suite provided in the daily growth support as the next update goal okay so if anyone who doesn't know um this is i mean look, I, I mean i'm sure many of us have kind of spoken about this but if you're looking to spend a little bit of money under this game i have always said that if, if you if you're looking to spend little get yourself the daily growth support 
overall from the game aspect it's just going to help you out with progression um with the extra gold and xp you get um and just with other little bit of rewards but more importantly it's the uh, special sweeps where you can just go in do your gates they might be harder like the red gates and the gold gates which are pretty somewhat difficult well, mainly, mainly the red gates are difficult um and just having that free special sweep it does kind of make it easier for you to actually complete and get the uh, high-end rewards so that's pretty much they're, they're gonna up that so you get five right now max 140 so hopefully they give us another five but they'll probably do an, an additional three so that's pretty much what they're talking about that but again if you guys want to spend a little amount of money i highly recommend buying that it really does help out your account um multiplayer will be supported in the battlefield of chaos content will continue to be added to the battlefield of chaos and we aim to improve a quick multiplayer process or sweep existing content accordingly yes beautiful this is what i needed because as of right now um doing battlefield of the chaos it's a it's it's a single run so once you complete one uh, one run you got to hop into another i thought they were going to implement a system already to where if i've got three runs then i can just do three runs in one go um on a, on a high difficulty wave but um that's not been implemented yet but they are going to which is going to make life a lot more easier so we will gladly take that um we're preparing improvements to allow more diverse skills to be utilized by adjusting the balance of sung jun Wu's skill uh, as hunters grow and acquire various ruins, more hunters are combining different skills. However, there is a tendency for certain skills to be favored over the others. To address this, our team will enhance the balance of specific skills, allowing hunters to utilize a more diverse combination of skills and ruins. Ooh, okay. I'm eager to see on what ruins are going to get buffed. Now, I will admit, with the Igros fight, um, one ruin, which I, mean, I didn't really expect to use, uh, just came out of the woodworks, which would be super effective, which was the um, vertical arts. So this kind of came out, I mean, and plus, I mean, it was kind of weak for us. Well, then again, it does give us that 45% increase in bosses and elites, so that was pretty handy. But yeah, I mean, you can see if anything's going to happen to the dagger toss. That would be interesting. <laughs> and then, ah, here it is. Okay, so the big, big news. Um, we plan to change the gold used for unequipping artifacts so that no cost will be incurred up to tier 15. We consider tier 15 the benchmark for testing various sets to see if ideal stats are granted. Therefore, we aim to make it more convenient for hunters to frequently test artifacts up to this stage. This is huge and they are damn right 15 is honestly the benchmark um at times i actually do leave that at 10 so obviously when you're working on artifacts um best thing which well i wouldn't say it's the best thing because you're kind of wasting gold but you just hope rng is in your favor uh to give you the right substats depending on what um artifacts that you're working on but for example with the gold side of things you know you, you tend to go up three so that way you can see on what gets the pluses so let's say if i'm working on so for example with this i don't i don't even know why i'm at why did i put this up to this okay, i don't even know i shouldn't have done this to 15 because it, let's say this went that let's say the attack got a plus one or maybe a plus two then i would have carried on to see where it would have been at 15 and then that may ultimately make me want to consider going up to the maximum 20 but i do agree 15 is in my opinion the benchmark because you get a plus three unless you do a uh, a purple weapon uh, artifact sorry which will then give you the uh, final buff oh my god there we go <laughs> which will give you the final buff which will be at plus five so that means at level 10 and level 15 you'll get the plus ones on any of the sub stats so I, I do feel like with them mentioning that tier 15 um, is the sweet spot they're damn right on that and to make it that the benchmark i think that's fantastic good on them and then of course because at that point you really have to then decide on whether or not if you want to go to plus 20. so stop at 15 and then decide from there on what to do um but the fact that no costs that puts a smile on my face i told you we got there boys we got there we just need to keep at it <laughs> now we just got to keep at it uh, but we'll get there eventually with the other remaining gold economy issues um but pretty much the conclusion is you know them just striving to be the best and informing us about any bugs issues and if there are to kind of clear it out of the way and by all of that you know i have to always say that the compensation that they always give us is fantastic 1k five ruin chests they, they, i mean they're on point I can't knock them. They're listening to us. Oh, 
we got to talk about this this is ridiculous i mean ridiculous in a good way but either way um there's the 1005 rune chest we will gladly take that just double check something here um so i've got only 15s on min right now so again i'm not going the full mark for him until i can find something more better but i'm yeah so i'm, I'm basically saving around about 35 to 40k now which is beautiful absolutely beautiful so it's good to know that we can have some play around room now again i mean I, I think one thing that they can potentially look into is um maybe <clears throat> maybe once we get to the tier 15 mark maybe reduce the cost of the gold a little bit that'll be very much appreciated i don't know i mean i i i, I don't know how, how some people find it but i i, I do think that the ghost cult uh, the gold cost for working on artifacts especially once we're getting into the higher end of things um does cost a fair amount so i mean i'm just saying because at the end of the day with solo leveling arise the, the gold economy on this game you know it can it, it can do with some more changes i think we can all agree on that but with the whole unequipped thing i think this is a, a, a huge huge improvement one that was needed at the very beginning but the fact that we're getting it now early on um i think that's just fantastic so let's just keep on it keep on working on the gold economy fixes because the game still needs it um but the fact that all these changes are coming as the game is well technically two months old but well month, well just under two months i'll take um look changes that we need so it's fantastic